is Polly Vaughn. I live in Wilmington, Ohio. I opened this practice two years ago. Um, I see people regardless of their ability to pay. I decided when I got to a place in my life that I could start a practice, give back to my community, I would. Got an advanced degree to become a nurse practitioner, received additional certifications for acute care, uh, pediatric nursing, family practice nurse practitioner, and then lastly, the psychiatric nurse practitioner certifications. So there's a lot of times I'm giving my time, my service, as a way to give back to my community. Um, and that's important to me. I see children and I, I see adults and I see geriatric population too. So I see all the, the full gamut. People in our community, again, underserved and likely not to get care. So I might be one person that has seen and done an exam on a patient and they may have not had one in 10 years. I was injured at work. I had an acoustic injury to my ear and I have hearing loss in my right ear. Um, that's what prompted me to try to find adaptive equipment to help with my exam. So that's how I found the Echo product. And I'm really appreciative that there are products out there to help people with hearing loss. Having everything that I need easily accessible and easily usable is very important to me. I prefer the Duo. I use my cell phone to and I show the patient that reading on my cell phone as I am doing their um, cardiac exam, and then we go over it at the end. And they are totally amazed by the new technology, and um, they're very appreciative of that. Many people aren't aware of the relationship between your physical and your mental health, so they might be surprised when you tell them, "I, I, do you, you know." If, are you short of breath? You know, are you having a cough? Or, you know, and it can, that can be related to your, your heart or it could be related to anxiety or it can be related. To, so they're very accepting of that typically. When you work with your family, you're not likely to share with them, you know, how maybe you don't feel or you're not feeling right or you're depressed or you're anxious or whatever thoughts you have because you're all in it to survive. So that's why I started this practice here is to try to help uh, fill that gap for the people in my own community. It was the best thing I ever did. <laughs> there is a special feeling that you get when you really um, give back to your community. There's a lot of really good feelings associated with that. And there are a really a lot of great feelings associated with helping people. Um, it feeds my soul to see people get better, to tell you how, to, for them to tell me how their lives have changed um, because of the things that they've learned with me, that feeds my soul.